Greetings folks, I am your host Nomo and today's lesson is about a few beginner mistakes while bending guitar strings and how to correct them. Number one, inaccurate bending. Now that is a very common scenario amongst novice guitar players. But don't worry, here's an exercise I call check and confirm. I'm on the 12th fret of the B string, which is a B note. Now I'm on the 13th fret of the B string, which is a C. Now I need to bend the B note on the 12th fret so that it matches the C note on the 13th. That's the check and that's the confirm. Similarly, you can do it for a C sharp on the same string. Or maybe a D note. And I'm just not limiting it to the second string or something. You can do it on the first string as well. And any fret you want. Number two, proper finger support. Bending with just one finger, especially on the treble notes, are a little tricky and um, it's inconsistent and uh, unreliable if you ask me. For example, I'll be playing a simple lick. Um, I'm in the 15th fret of the B string. So just using one finger, it, the bends sound like But while using support, I sound like It sounds smoother, it's more consistent, and it sounds much better than the one finger thing. So um, what is support? Like in this case, I'm using the ring finger, while the other two fingers are acting as support. It provides more strength to the bending finger and you can bend accurately and you can bend without, you know, tiring out faster. Number three, muting. Well, it's a coordination of the left and the right hand and uh, for example, I here I'll be bending the G string on the 12th fret. But if you notice, I am slightly touching. I'm not fretting it, but I'm slightly touching the D string, which is the 4th string. But the A string is ringing out. So what happens next? I use my palm of the right hand to mute the other two strings. So the D string is being muted by my left hand and my right hand's palm is muting the other two. And the remaining fingers, say the little finger, is muting the first and the second string. So. So folks, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Those were the three mistakes found commonly in beginners and three ways to correct them. Practice hard. Play safe, don't play if your hands hurt, and stay sweet. I'll see you again next time. Until then, no more. Out.